welcome to my channel. Um, I just noticed that I'm matching the kitchen and I didn't even do it on purpose, so props to me. Um, so I actually wanted to make this video yesterday, as you can see in the next clip. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm a little bit depressed today, um, but uh, then there were like too many people everywhere because I have five siblings and two parents and everybody is at home right now obviously because we're quarantined quarantine um and like there were too many people around and it was crazy and i was i didn't feel good and um so i decided to not make the video um but right now uh, i don't know where everybody is uh my mom is doing yoga somewhere else my sisters are in their rooms um so, like the kitchen is free and there's not anybody here to disturb me which is good I think my dad is doing groceries. Um, so, I'm making a video. It's a recipe for a vegan muck cake, uh, like a chocolate muck cake, and it's super easy. I make it literally like every week. I once shared the recipe on my old, old blog. Um, I will insert like a picture here. It was in my uh, good old times of the food blogger days. Um, but right now I'm remaking it because I don't make it exactly the same way anymore and uh, in a video way it's nice and easy so let's get started grab a cup of tea while you watch this or take me to the kitchen and you actually can make it while we are working together so let's go so the first thing that you're going to need is a bowl or a mug depending what you want to make your mug cake in I usually use a bowl because it's bigger so I have like more cake I'm gonna use this bowl um, it's from IKEA and it's kind of pink the first ingredient that we're going to make is actually a, an egg replacer so you can choose how you make that you can either take a ripe banana and like mash it or you can uh, use chia seeds or flax seeds and I usually use flax seeds just because uh, it doesn't really taste like anything and uh, we always have them in the house. So the first thing that you're going to put in there is one tablespoon of flax seeds. So these are flax seeds um, and I would put one tablespoon of flax seeds in my bowl. And to make that flax seed uh, into an actual egg replacer you're going to put uh, three tablespoons three or four tablespoons of uh, water with it and if you use chia seeds is the, it's the same ex exact method so uh, you just put one two and three I'm gonna put four and then you just mix it around a little bit so now we're gonna put that aside for a minute well I take all the other ingredients so that this uh, mixture can get like a little thicker okay so I took all the ingredients uh, there's not that many the first thing that you're going to add is flour. Um, my personal favorite flour is spelt flour, but you can literally use any flour that you like. And you're going to add three uh, tablespoons. So one, two, three. And the next ingredient is cacao powder to give it the chocolate taste. Actually, this is optional. You don't even have to use it. You can also leave it away and put some vanilla instead. But I really like chocolate, so I'm gonna add one tablespoon of cacao. So next up is baking powder. Um, all baking powder does actually is like just make it bigger. I think the original recipe I used back in the day said like a quarter teaspoon or something I usually use something like this like half almost a half and then the last dry ingredient is vanilla powder you can also use vanilla extract or just uh, skip this step altogether we're just gonna put some in there we're going to mix it a little bit already okay next up we have all the liquid ingredients First up, I'm going to add uh, non-dairy milk. Usually I would use oat milk, but uh, right now we have this almond vanilla milk and it looks really good. Um, so I'm going to, to use this. You're going to use two tablespoons. Or a little bit more. Then the next step is um, a nut butter. 
You can use uh, whichever you want. You can use peanut butter, you can use almond butter. Um, but for the chocolate cake, my personal favorite is hazelnut because uh, I, fi I just personally think that hazelnut is the nut that goes best with the chocolate taste. So you're going to use uh, two teaspoons of hazelnut butter or any nut butter that you like. And then obviously the last step is something to make it sweet because right now it's going to taste very chocolatey but not sweet at all. Um, so you can use literally anything you want. You can use sugar, you can use um, maple syrup, whatever. Um, but I use uh, date syrup. It's a very sweet uh, sugar replacer. And um, I think it goes really well with this mug cake. Just like listen to your heart and um, add as much as you want because it also really depends on what sweetener you use. Some sweeteners are sweeter than others and it depends on your personal taste, how sweet you like it to be. I would add like maybe three tablespoons of this. Like that. And then for the last time, just mix. I also forgot to say, depending on what sweetener you use, you might want to add uh, some more flour or some more uh, non-dairy milk because, for example, I have a sweetener that's liquid. If it wouldn't be thick enough, I could add some more flour. But if you use, for example, just normal sugar, your consistency might be a little too dry. So then you can add some more non-dairy milk, for example. Okay, there we go. This is kind of what it should look like. Right now it's pretty liquid, but I'm going to put it in a microwave and it will uh, rise up and become very cake-like. Okay, I'm now going to put it in the microwave. You open the microwave, you put it in there, and then you start the microwave for one and a half or two minutes. And that's it, you have a cake in literally five minutes. That you guys is literally it. You have cake. I like mine to be a little bit gooey, but if you want it a little bit thicker, you can either uh, leave it to cool down a little bit or put a little more flour, like make your consistency a little bit thicker. Okay, you guys, that's it. Right now, I'm going to enjoy my mug cake. Uh, I'm going to watch either Drag Race or a Disney movie or like YouTube, maybe maybe like Avery Overt or Best Dressed or something. If you end up making this mug cake, feel free to send me pictures. I would love to see what you make. Uh, if you post anything, tag me so I can see it. Um, and for the rest, I just wish you a wonderful day and thank you very much for watching. Bye!